Good morning. Weather Bureau. Hello, Weather. This is Paul Blackman calling. I'm out here at Santa Monica, and I'm planning a trip up to San Francisco this morning. May I have weather up through the San Joaquin Valley and also up through the coast, please? Uh, yes, I'll read you the latest uh, sequence reports along either route. Uh, Bakersfield is reporting 2,200 scattered, 2,500 overcast, 12 miles with a light rain shower. Fresno is 2,500 overcast, visibility 15 miles. Stockton reporting 800 scattered, 1,500 overcast, 9 miles with a light rain shower. Some of your coastal points, Santa Barbara, 3,500 overcast, visibility 12 miles, light rain shower. Santa Maria, 1,400 scattered, 4,000 overcast, visibility 8 miles. Paso Robles reporting 1,700 broken, 2,700 overcast, 3 miles with a light rain shower. San Francisco is reporting several layers. They have some low scud at 400, broken layer at 1,100, and a 2,000 foot overcast. Visibility 5 miles with a light rain shower. Which route would you recommend? The coast or San Joaquin Valley? Well, I would recommend the coastal route. Uh, mainly because of a flash advisory and some pilot reports that we have referring to the San Joaquin Valley. We have a flash advisory from Los Angeles which reads, moderate to severe turbulence and moderate to severe icing in the clouds, effective from 1800 zebra to 2400 zebra, with solid clouds from 5000 to 20,000 mean sea level. The pilot report from Fresno, he was over Fresno at 1811 zebra, at 8,500 mean sea level. He reported moderate to heavy icing in the clouds and moderate turbulence. The aircraft was a twin beach. With all that icing up through the valley, what kind of uh, freezing level have I got on the coast and what kind of icing conditions uh, might I encounter on the coast? Your freezing level in the Los Angeles area runs about uh, 6,000 to 6,500, sloping downward slightly to about 3,500 to 4,500 in the San Francisco Bay Area. You would have light icing along the coast, but it wouldn't be anywhere as severe as what you would encounter up the San Joaquin Valley. Well, that sounds a lot better. Uh, by the way, what is the terminal forecast and the area forecast for San Francisco? I expect to depart out of here around noon and figure a couple hours en route. Well, for your arrival time, San Francisco is forecasting a 1,200 foot overcast with unrestricted visibilities, surface winds of northwest 10. Will you require an alternate for this route? Yes, I will. I'll probably have to go up to uh, Sacramento. What's that weather like? Now, the current weather at Sacramento is 1,200 broken, 3,500 overcast, eight miles with a light rain shower. And the forecast for your arrival time would read 3,000 overcast with unrestricted visibilities. Wind of northwest 10, well above alternate limits. And what are the winds aloft at 8, 10, and 12? Over Southern California, your winds at 8,000 would be 340 at 35 knots. At 10,000, 310 at 45. And at 12, 300 at 45. Winds over the San Francisco Bay Area at 8,000, 320 at 30. 10,000, 310 at 35, and 12,000, 310 at 40. That doesn't sound too bad, then I guess it'll be the coast. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bye. Have a nice trip. There are many pilots who say that more goes into the planning of an instrument flight than into the actual flight itself. This, of course, is a matter of opinion. But common sense and safety dictate that much diligent thought and planning should precede the flight itself. Altogether, too many pilots have found themselves embarrassed at one time or another when they become confused with an en route problem which might otherwise have been prepared for on the ground. The weather is the force which influences our flight the most, and proper flight planning cannot be initiated until the weather picture is well in hand. 
After listening in on the weather briefing, we can readily see why our trip will carry us along the coastal route to San Francisco. Once the pilot has a firm knowledge of the route he is to take and the weather along that route, he computes his estimated time en route, calculates the amount of fuel he needs, and fills the other requirements of proper pre-flight planning. He is now ready to file his flight plan. It is filed in much the same manner as a VFR flight plan. Let us listen as our pilot places his flight plan with Los Angeles radio. I'd like to file an instrument flight plan. Okay, go ahead. Aircraft identification N2633 Golf. Cessna 310 Delta. Estimated true airspeed 190 knots. Departing Santa Monica via Victor 25 to San Francisco. Requesting 10,000. No intermediate stops. Proposing off at 1200 Pacific or 2000 Zebra. Estimating two hours and 15 minutes en route. We'll use Sacramento as our alternate. Carrying three hours and 48 minutes of fuel. Transmitting and receiving VHF. My name is Paul Blackman and my address is 10493 Santa Monica Boulevard, Los Angeles. And our ship is two-tone red with white trim. And by the way, are there any current notams en route? Let me look. No, there aren't any affecting your flight. Thank you. Thank you. Once the communication station receives the flight plan, the station will immediately relay it to Los Angeles Center. Los Angeles Center, like all other centers throughout the country, is a controlling authority and nerve center for a particular area that maintains constant vigil and provides adequate separation of aircraft en route under IFR conditions. Now that our ground preparations are complete and the airplane has been given a thorough pre-flight inspection, we're ready to taxi out. Santa Monica Ground Control, this is Cessna 2633 Golf, over. 33 Golf, Ground Control, go ahead. Cessna 33 Golf, request taxi instructions from Gunnell Aviation, instrument flight plan to San Francisco, over. 33 Golf, clear to runway 21, wind south southwest 4, altimeter 3008, time 1201, hold short of the runway. Roger, 33 Golf. When calling ground control for taxi instructions, the pilot should specify that he has filed an instrument flight plan and indicate his destination. After giving the pilot the proper taxi instructions, the ground controller will call the center to obtain the pilot's ATC clearance. An ATC clearance is an authorization by air traffic control for an aircraft to proceed under specified traffic conditions within a control zone or control area. This clearance is issued by ATC so as to provide adequate separation for the purpose of preventing collision between known aircraft. Upon receipt of the pilot's clearance, ground control will relay the clearance to the pilot. 33 Golf Santa Monica Ground Control, have your ATC clearance ready to copy? 33 Golf, ready to copy. ATC clears 33 Golf to the EO intersection via Victor 25. Cross Flounder 5000 or below. Cross EO 6000. 
Hold west one minute left pattern on the 242 degree radial of the Los Angeles Omni Range. Expect further clearance 10 minutes after takeoff. Go ahead. Roger. ATC clears 33 Golf to the Eel intersection via Victor 25. Cross Flounder 5,000 or below. Cross Eel 6,000. Hold west. One minute left pattern on the 242 degree radial of the Los Angeles Omni Range. Expect further clearance one zero minutes after takeoff. Over. 3-3 three, three, Golf, your clearance is correct. Uh, switch over to tower frequency when you're ready and uh, do you have frequency 121.1 for departure? 121.1, affirmative. Roger. Santa Monica Tower, Cessna 33 three Golf, ready for takeoff. Runway 21, over. 33 three, three, Golf, taxi to position and hold. Expect takeoff clearance in one minute. 33 three, three, Golf. The time is now 2008. The center has informed the tower that traffic conditions will not permit our takeoff until 2009. 33 Golf, contact radar departure 121.1 prior to the shoreline, cleared for takeoff. Roger, 121.1 prior to the shoreline. Los Angeles Departure Control, this is Cessna 2633 Golf, departing Santa Monica 10, heading 210 degrees, 121.1, over. Cessna 33 Golf, Los Angeles Departure Control, Open radar contact, report leaving 5,000. Report leaving 5,000, Roger. The pilot knows by reference to his chart that he will need to use the Oxnard and the Los Angeles Omni Ranges in getting to Eel. Let us try to identify the stations as he tunes them in. First, Los Angeles, L-A-X. Oxnard, O-X-R. What's your heading now, Cessna 33 Golf? Present heading, 200 degrees. Roger, well, maintain 200 zero zero until you intercept Victor 25. Roger, maintain two zero zero degrees until intercepting Victor two five. Los Angeles departure control, three three golf, can you give us radar assistance to Flounder, over? Affirmative, I can give you radar advisor to the leave Flounder. Three three golf. When an aircraft departs an airport on an IFR flight plan in high density areas, its movements may be under the guidance of departure control. For example, in departing from the Los Angeles high density area, departure control will monitor our movements by radar and provide us with proper traffic separation. After we leave the high density area, the controller will turn us over to the center, which will monitor the en route portion of our flight. A Cessna 33 Golf, maintain 5,000. Now change your altitude to maintain 5,000. Roger, 3-3 three, three Golf, maintain 5,000, and Cessna 3-3 three, three Golf is intercepting Victor 2-5, over. Roger, Cessna 3-3 three, three Golf, report reaching 5,000. 3-3 three, three Golf. So far, we've been cleared to the Eel intersection and no farther. 
Our clearance also specified that we hold in a non-standard one minute left pattern west of the eel. If by the time we get to eel we receive no further instruction, we must hold at eel according to our instructions. If for some reason we had not received holding instructions, we would have to hold at eel in a standard two minute right pattern. This is true of any clearance limit. Remember, if you reach a fix which is the last point to which you have been cleared, and you have not received holding instructions, you must hold at the limit fix in a standard two minute right pattern, despite the pattern shown on the chart for that particular fix. 3-3 three, three golf, arriving 5,000. Cessna 3-3 three, three golf, Roger, maintain 5,000. Cancel your clearance to 6,000 at EEL. It's EEL at 5,000 now. Roger, EEL at 5,000. Upon approaching the EEL intersection, the pilot learns from his instrument chart that the MRA for this reporting point is 5,000 feet. The MRA, or the minimum reception altitude, is the lowest altitude at which a pilot can receive adequate radio signals to determine the reporting fix. The pilot must always make sure that he never intends to cross a fix below the minimum reception altitude. Los Angeles Departure Control, this is Cessna 33 Golf, Flounder 22 at 5,000, over. Cessna 33 Golf, Roger, stand by. United 624, radar service terminated, contact Los Angeles Center 124.0. Roger. Cessna 33 Golf, do you have frequency 124.0 for the center? 33 Golf, 124.0, affirmative. Azure radar services terminated. Contact Los Angeles Center 124.0. Roger, 33 Golf is changing to center at this time. Los Angeles Center, this is Cessna 2633 Golf, approaching Eel intersection 24 at 5000, guarding 124.0, over. Roger, clear to the Oxnard on me, maintain 6,000, report heel northwestbound. 3-3 three, three Golf is cleared to the Oxnard Omni range, maintain 6,000, report eel northwestbound. Roger. 3-3 three, three, George, Roger. Los Angeles Center, Cessna 33 Golf, Eel at 25, northwest bound, leaving 5,000, over. 33 George, uh, Eel northwest bound, is that correct? Affirmative, and 33 Golf is leaving 5,000, over. 33 George, Roger, United 624, have you passed Eel? And 33 George, Climb so it's across the Fillmore 180 radio lap, 900,000, maintain 900,000. Roger, cross the Fillmore 180 degree radial at 9,000, maintain 9,000, 3-3 three, three, Golf. 3-3 three, three, George. Now our pilot is tuning to Fillmore. Identification, F-I-M. Los Angeles Center, 3-3 three, three Golf will be unable to cross the Fillmore 180 degree radial at 9,000, over. 3-3 three, three George, Roger, report press altitude. 6,600. Roger, 3-3 uh, three, three George, uh, cross Oxnard at or above 9,000, maintain 10,000, over. Cross Oxnard at or above 9,000, maintain 10,000, roger. 3-3, three, three, George, clear to the San Francisco airport via Victor 25, over. Roger, 3-3 three, three, Golf is cleared to the San Francisco airport via Victor 25. 3-3, three, three, George, roger.
33 Golf is at 9,200. 33 George, Roger. Request Oxnard estimate. Estimating Oxnard at 3 4. 33 George, Roger. It is the responsibility of air traffic control to maintain normally a separation of 15 minutes flying time between aircraft flying in the same direction at the same altitude. In highly congested areas, however, this separation time is sometimes reduced to 10 minutes. The pilot is given a maximum of a three-minute margin in his estimates to reporting points. This tolerance should allow sufficient separation between aircraft. For example, let us imagine we are three minutes ahead of schedule, and there is an aircraft ahead of us that is three minutes behind schedule. If in a congested area, these two aircraft could be four minutes of flying time apart. You can readily see why a pilot must report to air traffic control when he sees he will be or actually is more than three minutes off schedule. Los Angeles Center, this is Cessna 33 Golf. Instruments to San Francisco over the Oxnard Omni Range 33 and one half at 10,000. Estimating Santa Barbara at 4.9. Paso Robles, over. The 2633, George, roger. Eve 2000, Santa Barbara, altimeter 3011. 3 3 Golf. 3 3, George, report passing the uh, Fillmore 245 radio, over. Roger, report passing the Fillmore 245 degree radio. The civil air regulations require that position reports be made over all compulsory reporting points, depicted by solid triangles on your charts. These position reports should include the following. The reporting point over which you are reporting, the time you were over the fix, and also the altitude. Included must also be the second fix over which you intend to report, and your estimated time of arrival over that point and then just the name of the next reporting point beyond your second fix. It is important to know how to make proper position reports, so pay careful attention to the reports to follow. Los Angeles Center, this is Cessna 33 Golf, crossing the 245 degree radial of the Fillmore Omni Range, over. 33 Golf, roger. Paul is now tuning to the Santa Barbara Omni Range. Identification, S. B A. LA Center, this is Cessna 33 Golf, over. Cessna 33 Golf, go ahead. Cessna 33 Golf is over the Santa Barbara Omni Range 48 at 10,000. Estimating Paso Robles at 15. Bonito, over. 33 George, Roger, your altitude is 10,000, is that correct? Affirmative, 10,000. 33 Golf, Roger. Contact Oakland Center 118.8 at Pozo, over. Contact Oakland Center 118.8 at Pozo, roger. Now there are five other reports which must be made to ATC other than position reports. The first one is the time and altitude of reaching a holding point or fix to which you have been cleared. The second, when vacating a previously assigned altitude for a newly assigned altitude. The third, when leaving any assigned holding point or fix. The fourth, when an instrument approach has been missed or aborted. And the fifth, 
when visual reference to the ground is established during an approach to an airport. These reports are compulsory and must be made by the pilot without ATC having to ask for them. There are other reports which should be made when requested by ATC, and they are as follows. One, time of starting procedure turn on final approach. Two, time over a range station during an approach, or the time over the outer marker inbound on final approach. Three, when reaching a newly assigned altitude, or when passing through intermediate altitudes. Four, any other information which may aid in the control of air traffic. I think the Paso Robles Omni range is being tuned in. Let's listen. In order to determine the Pozo intersection, the pilot will need to use the San Luis Obispo VOR. Let's listen as it is being identified by the letters SBP. Los Angeles Center, this is Cessna 33 Golf approaching Pozo and switching to Oakland Center 118.8. Over. 33 Golf, Roger. Good day. Oakland Center, this is Cessna 2633 Golf 118.8. Over. Cessna 2633 Golf, Oakland Center, go ahead. Roger, 33 Golf is on instruments to San Francisco over Pozo 02 at 10,000. Estimating Paso Robles at 16. Bonito, over. That's that 2633 Golf, roger. The 2100 Zebra, 1300 Pacific, Paso Robles altimeter, 3011, over. 3011, roger. By referring to your chart, you will notice a dotted line crossing Victor 25 about 19 nautical miles southeast of the Paso Robles Omni Range. This line is a boundary of air route traffic control areas. As indicated, all airspace south of this boundary is controlled by Los Angeles Center. All airspace north of this line is controlled by Oakland Center. The Pozo intersection is the last reporting point over which we communicate with Los Angeles Center and is also the point beyond which they have no control. This is why we changed frequencies over Pozo. Oakland Center, Cessna 33 Golf, over. Cessna 2633 Golf, Oakland Center, go ahead. Roger, Cessna 33 Golf is encountering some light rime ice and would like to request an altitude change from 10,000 to 8,000. Over. 2633 Golf, Roger, stand by for altitude change. I'll have a short Cessna 2633 Golf, Oakland Center, clearance, over. Oakland Center, Cessna 33 Golf, go ahead. Roger, 33 Golf is cleared to the Woodside intersection. Maintain 8,000 via Victor 25. Campbell, direct to Moffat, direct to Woodside. Over. Cessna 2633 Golf, feedback is correct. Your destination is uh, San Francisco, is that correct? Affirmative. Cessna 2633 Golf, uh, Roger. Open center. 
Oakland Center, 3-3 golf is leaving 10 for 8,000. Over. Uh, Cessna 2633 Golf, your transmission partly broken up. Understand leaving 1-0,000 at the present time, is that correct? That's affirmative. Cessna 2633 Golf, roger. Oakland Center, Cessna 2633 Golf, instruments to San Francisco, overpass the Robles 1-6 at 8,000. Estimating Bonito at 3-5. Campbell, over. Cessna 2633 Golf, roger on position, Oakland Center. We have been very fortunate so far in as much as we have not been requested to hold somewhere. There are times when ATC will issue a clearance that will require aircraft to hold over a specific reporting point or fix in order to allow aircraft proper traffic separation. Some pilots have questioned this action and requested traffic information. And they were at a loss when the reply indicated no essential traffic reported. In such cases, the controller has taken action to prevent a traffic confliction which would have occurred at a distant point. The frequency of the Salinas VOR is 117.3 megacycles, and its identification is SNS. The pilot will need this particular station to obtain a cross bearing for the Benito intersection. Oakland Center, Cessna 33 Golf, go ahead. At your Cessna 2633 Golf, cross Benito intersection 6000, maintain 6000, over. Roger, cross Bonito at 6000 and maintain 6000, and we're leaving 8 for 6 now. Cessna 2633 Golf, Roger, Oakland Center. Oakland Center, this is Cessna 33 Golf, over. Roger, we do not have low frequency equipment aboard and will be unable to go to Moffat, over. Uh, Roger, Cessna 2633 Golf, uh, stand by. Roger, Victor 25, Agnew, direct Woodside, and we're at 6,000 now, over. Oakland Center, Cessna 33 Golf, over. Cessna 2633 Golf, Oakland Center, go ahead. Roger, 33 Golf crossing the Benito intersection, 35 at 6,000. Estimating Campbell, 55 five and 1 half. Agnew, over. Cessna 2633 Golf, Roger, contact the Oakland Center, 124.6 now, over. 3-3 three, three Golf, 124.6, Roger. 3 Golf, Roger. Oakland Center, this is Cessna, 2633 three Golf, Bonito 3-5, guarding 124.6, over. Roger, Cessna, 2633 three Golf, the uh, 2100 San Francisco altimeter, 3014, stand by this frequency. 3-3 three, three Golf. The pilot is now tuning his omni receiver to Agnew on 117.6 megacycles. Its identification is 
AGW. Oakland Center, Cessna 3-3 golf over. Uh, 2-6-3-3 golf, Oakland Center over. Cessna 2-6-3-3 golf is over the Campbell intersection 5-5 at 6,000. Estimating Agnew at 5-8, Woodside over. Cessna 2-6-3-3 golf, Oakland Center, contact San Francisco approach control. Roger, San Francisco Approach Control, 120.9 now. San Francisco Approach Control, this is Cessna 2633 Golf, 120.9, over. Cessna 2633 Golf, San Francisco Approach Control, over. Roger, 33 Golf, departing Campbell Intersection at 5, 5 and 1 half, over. 33 Golf, uh, departing the Campbell Intersection, maintain 6,000, report over Moffat for radar identification, altimeter 3014. Roger, maintain 6,000. We do not have low frequency equipment and our last clearance specified Agnew rather than Moffat, over. Roger, report over, Agnew. 3-3 three, three, Golf. a straight and ILS approach to San Francisco Airport from uh, three minutes west of Agnew at 6,000 feet over. 3-3 three, three Golf, affirmative. Uh, True report over Agnew. 3-3 three, three Golf is over Agnew now. Cessna 3-3 three, three Golf, no radar contact at Agnew. Proceed to the Woodside intersection, report over Woodside. Roger, report over Woodside. I believe our pilot is tuning in the San Francisco Omni range now on 111.8 one, one, one megacycles. Once we arrive over the Woodside intersection, San Francisco Approach Control will give us a radar vector to intercept the ILS final approach course, which is the localizer. This merely means that he will give the pilot various headings and altitudes to maintain. This information is given so as to direct the pilot to a convenient point, usually the outer marker, where he may take over and complete his approach without further radar assistance. Cessna 2633 Golf, are you en route to the Woodside intersection now? 33 three Golf, affirmative. Uh, they're maintaining 6,000, right? 33 three Golf, affirmative. Off, descend to and maintain 4,000, report over Woodside. Roger, we're leaving 6 to maintain 4,000 now. Cessna 33 Golf, depart the Woodside intersection, heading uh, 010 for radar vector to the ILS final bus course. Roger, depart Woodside, heading 010 degrees. The pilot has just turned on his ILS equipment and is tuning into the San Francisco ILS. 
Its identification is I-S-F-O. Let's try to identify it. The minimums for the San Francisco airport are 200 and one half. This means that in order to legally approach and land at this airport, the visibility must be at least one half mile and the ceiling must be at least 200 feet above the airport or 210 feet above sea level. The landing minimums vary for each airport and the type of aircraft operation involved. This information may normally be found on the approach plate. An example of varying minimums is illustrated by the fact that a non-scheduled airliner must have at least 400 feet and three quarters of a mile visibility to make an approach under the same conditions as ours. A Boeing 707 must have 300 feet and three quarters of a mile to land at San Francisco. San Francisco approach control, Cessna 33 Golf is over the Woodside intersection, turning right heading 010 degrees, over. Cessna 33 Golf, Roger. Radar contact. Cessna 33 Golf is at 4000. Roger. Cessna 33 Golf report on the heading. 33 Golf. Cessna 33 Golf steady on heading 010 degrees over. Cessna 33 Golf descend to and maintain 3000 report leaving 4. Roger, 33 Golf is leaving 4 for 3. Roger, 33 Golf. Cessna 33 Golf maintain 1700 over. 33 Golf, Roger. Maintain 1,700 and we're leaving 3,000 now. Leaving 3,000. Cessna 33 Golf, third for Nihilus approach, turn left heading uh, 310 to intercept the ILS final approach course, take over and complete your ILS approach. Contact the tower 120.5 at the automarker inbound. Roger, turn left 310 degrees and contact the tower 120.5 at the automarker. If we had to make a missed approach due to the weather being below minimums, the normal procedure to be followed would be found on the appropriate approach plate. At San Francisco, for example, we would normally climb to 3,000 feet outbound on the 287 degree radial of the San Francisco Terminal Omni Range within 15 miles. Of course, we would inform the tower that we were executing a missed approach. We would then be given further instructions so as to be able to execute another approach or receive the proper clearances to go to our alternate, Sacramento. Three Three Golf is at the outer marker. Three Golf, contact the tower now, one two zero point five. Three Three Golf. San Francisco tower marker, jet 16, ready to go. Jet 16, taxi position, runway 1, right and hold. 16. San Francisco Tower, this is Cessna 33 Golf at the outer marker inbound. Over. Cessna 33 Golf, San Francisco Tower, outer marker. Continue approach at point 3707, departing to the north on runway 1. 33 Golf, Roger, and we're clear of clouds. Market 16, clear for mini takeoff, one right. 16. Cessna 33 Golf, go to land on right, two way to right, cross from the jet blast, be departing aircraft. 33 Golf.
Three golf, continue straight ahead and turn in the mid-taxiway. Clear it across to it now. We'll change to ground control on 121 Niner. Three, three golf. San Francisco ground control. This is Cessna three, three golf on the mid-taxiway between runways 28 left and 28 right for clearance to transit parking. Over. Three, three golf. Make a right turn at the next intersection and follow the yellow line. Clear to the executive terminal. 3-3 three, three, Golf. 